Hey everyone, it's Bobby G, Bobby at Gloss, coming at you to continue going through my autograph collection of rarities. For those of you who are over 50, 60, 70, or 80, and who might know who the hell I'm talking about, Elvis Presley. Does anybody know Elvis Presley? Oh, oh! but I don't have Elvis Presley. Who I do have, since we're still on the A's, is Ginger Alden. Ginger Alden was Elvis Presley's fiance and the woman who found him dead on his commode. Yes, dead on his toilet. The last person to see him alive and the first person to see him dead. Shocker, she wrote a book about it. And it's called Elvis and Ginger. Bam! Oh, let me show you the same picture again. Elvis and Ginger, there you go. I don't think I have that book actually. And I wanna know why Ginger doesn't have her own Wikipedia page. Let's get to work on that, shall we? How about this one? Who has this in their collection? Leslie a letter. What? 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 Who is that? What? 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 Who is that? It's the stunt double for Sigourney Weaver in Aliens. That's how I roll. My collection is so vast, so obscure. Boo! Just lost 17 of the 20. Jane Alexander. Jane Alexander, Tony winner, winner of a couple of Emmys. Played uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, I know her basically, uh, or she first came into my consciousness from um, Kramer vs. Kramer. But everybody knows Jane Alexander is an amazing actress. And while we're on the Alexanders, shrinkage! Shrinkage, Jerry! The water was cold! This guy, legendary, legendary George Costanza. Jason Alexander, love him. So much comes up with some of the best lines. This is one of my, this is one of my favorite autographs. However, I feel really badly, and I think we should take up a collection for him because I'm pretty sure he's not doing so well. The the uh, the uh, Seinfeld residuals. I hear that it's it's a pittance. It's it's kind of sad. Ah, cherish is the word I use to describe. That's right, the association, Jules Alexander. I went to go see them. I thought he was the original lead singer. He's not, but he is an original member and I had him sign these great pieces and it was great to see Jules and a couple of his band members uh, from the association from the 1960s. But I was like, oh, I thought you were the lead singer. I've done that a couple of times where I go to see a group and then uh, I think the lead singer is gonna be the person that I'm seeing and it turns out to be like, the guitarist or something. But he was good and it was fun. Let's go to a beauty, Alexander. Who doesn't love Sasha Alexander? I know she started in Dawson's uh, Creek, but I love her in Rizzoli and Isles. OCD, not that I'm OCD, maybe a bit, but I love her in Rizzoli and Isles. And yes, I do have Angie Harmon, but we're not on the H's yet, so I don't want you to get impatient. When I was a kid, the supermodel was not Janice Dickinson, it was Kim Alexis. And you could see a Kim Alexis Pantene commercial, maybe right before a Fruity Pebbles commercial. I love Fruity Pebbles. Do you guys like Fruity Pebbles? Fruity Pebbles is my favorite. Um, and check this out. This is Kim with her mom and grandmother. I think that was a shot by Francesco Scavulo. I think, I'm not sure. And it might be a little bit touched up, but I'm telling you, it's nothing compared to what we have today with Instagram filters and paint. Magic! Everybody gets to look like aliens! That's right, I have a great shot from Aliens, signed by two of the cast members from Aliens. Mark, uh, I think his name is Mark Rostin and Jeanette Goldstein. Why is Aliens in my AL? Because I file by last name? And if not, because there's multiple people, I file by whatever the title of the movie is. And we're gonna end up with Dracul, Dracul, a little Bella Lugosi. Not that I'm skipping to L or Lugosi, or that I even have Bella Lugosi, but I do have Elizabeth Allen, who was the co-star, can you see me? Who was the co-star of Bella Lugosi in Mark of the Vampire, 1935. Or was it Shadow of the Vampire? I'm not sure which, but bam! Pretty nice, right? The best thing about this is randomly, this is from an autograph book from the 1940s. It's signed on the back by somebody else. I have no idea who that is. It could be Emil Jannings. It could be somebody worth thousands. I have no idea, but I couldn't read it. So I had to like match up Elizabeth Allen. 
There you go. Now we're all the way through ALL in the Bobby G collection. Actually, we're going to pick up with, I think, Debbie Allen next week or Chad Allen. I'm not sure which, but next week, whenever I get to it. Anyways, thank you so much. For anybody who loves autographs and the obscure collection that I have, I appreciate it. And if you're collecting autographs yourself, have fun. It's a fun hobby. Take care. Wishing you all the best. Bobby G, signing off for now.